Ruth, you're a Brakes Company nutritionist and That's a right. keen runner. Yeah. So obviously with all the training you're doing, food can play a really important part in the half marathon as well, can't it? Yeah, and beforehand, during the training process, it's really important that you have a balanced and varied diet that meets the energy demands of your training regime. A balanced diet includes lots of carbohydrate-based foods, things like bread, pasta, rice, potatoes. They're the types of foods that um, are going to provide us with the main source of energy. Uh, fruit and vegetables, at least five portions every day. Um, moderate amounts of protein-based foods, things like milk, dairy, meat, fish and vegetarian alternatives as well. Protein is important for um, growth and repair of muscles, so that is a, a key part of training as well. Um, even smaller amounts of foods that are containing fat and sugar, that's just the general healthy eating advice for everyone. Right, okay. And what about the day before? You're building up now towards it. So what about the day before? Is there sort of something special you have to eat? Yeah, we would suggest a little bit more carbohydrate the day before. Carbohydrate's the key energy uh, source. So you want lots of foods that contain carbohydrate. Carbohydrate's stored in our liver, in our muscles, and that's where we get our energy from. So foods like bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, basic meals on those types of food the day before, that, that will really help. Okay, so now we've got to the big day. What, what do you eat in the morning, you know, to keep you going? Well, the Royal Park Foundation's Half Marathon is, takes place in the morning, uh, so breakfast is going to be the only meal that the runners will be having before the race, uh, so breakfast is really important to top those energy stores up, so we recommend a carbohydrate-based meal, but also something that you usually eat for your breakfast. It's not advisable to try something new that day, because the last thing you want is an upset tummy, anything like that. Um, so have your breakfast two, three hours before the race, give you a little bit of time to digest it and let it go down so you're not too full beforehand, and also uh, have some water with your breakfast as well to keep you hydrated and water must be an important part of running I see when people are running they're always having water so tell me about that yeah water is really really important hydration is important when you exercise you're going to be losing body fluids so you need to top them up you need to replace them and um, so I would advise that you stop at every drink station have a drink throughout the race before the race during the race and after the race hydration is really key important so now you've run the half marathon you must be really pleased is it important to eat and drink after the event yeah food and fluids are two key areas uh, for after the event fluids as soon as you finish the race it's really important to rehydrate again so either water or a sports drink and um, that would not only rehydrate you but give you some energy as well and um, with regards to food some people find that they can't eat straight after a big event like that some people are really really hungry so it just depends on the person but as soon as you feel ready to eat something it's a good idea to have a carbohydrate based snack afterwards get those energy stores that have been depleted throughout the run back up again and um, some people will want a big meal some people won't it depends on the person but small regular carbohydrate and protein based meals are really important throughout the rest of that day and what about an alcoholic drink when you finish that half marathon yeah that's not a problem it's advisable to be rehydrated beforehand but if you just can't wait it's not a problem to have a drink would advise something like a lager or a shandy and um, that would be more advisable than say a glass of wine or a spirit but it's not a no-no okay good so all we have to do ruth is wish you very good luck for the half marathon thank you